Hello everybody, welcome to the Get Clear Show. I'm Laura and today we are going to be talking about shapes again. In the previous videos we talked about a couple of the four different shapes that define personalities. We use shapes to sort of explain or categorize certain personality types. So we talked about the circle and then we talked about the diamond. And today we are going to talk about the rectangle. We're going to talk about the rectangle shaped people. So what we know so far is that the circle people are people who tend to make decisions based on emotion. They're the nurturers, they're the ones that make good teachers, very good um, social workers, things like that. Then we talked a little bit about the diamonds and the diamonds are people who are all about the process and they love things that are exciting and they're the kind of people who are big picture people, they don't need small details. They can just rush into a situation and make decisions quickly. And then they love to come back and tell you all about it. So we talked about those two. Today we're going to talk about the rectangle people. I want to tell you again why we talk about these different shapes. Remember, I keep telling you, people come to me all the time as a life coach and say, Laura, my life is a mess. Can you please help me fix it? And the answer to that is yes and no. I can help you figure out ways to put your life back together, but there are some things that I'm going to need to know about you first. And one of those is, what motivates you? What type of information do you need in order to be able to make changes in your life? What kinds of situations do you need to be put into that will help you thrive? So when we start talking about the rectangle personalities, rectangle people are typically but not always, I want to make that very clear, typically but not always male. So the rectangle personalities are the types of people who tend to make decisions based strictly on logic. They are the numbers people. Show me the bottom line. One plus one needs to equal two and I want to know why we are implementing these processes. If you were to engage with them in a business setting, for example, and an idea has been presented on the table for everybody to review and help make a decision on, the rectangle person is the one who's going to say, well, how will this affect our bottom line? Is this cost effective? Does it make sense? They are really not worried about whether it's going to make their coworkers happy or sad or anything like that they tend to just want the facts. You ever heard that saying, just the facts please, just the facts. Well that's them. They just need the facts. They are the kind of people who might appear, especially to a circle personality, to be very cold. It's not that they don't care, it's that they just sift out or filter out what they, they deem as unnecessary information. Let me give you an example. If a rectangle person is working as a handyman and somebody needs their toilet unclogged, for example, if they were to call this rectangle person and say, you know, my two-year-old just flushed a sock down the toilet and I, you know, I only turned my back on them for just a minute. I was in the kitchen making lunch because I have this big luncheon coming over. Anyway, Johnny went and flushed this toilet down the or the sock down the toilet and now the toilet is is running all over the place they're going to probably be a little annoyed because all they really need you to say is yes I would like for you to come and unclog my toilet they don't need all of the background what they consider unnecessary information so it may seem as if they are rude or abrupt and to a lot of people it may it just may very well appear that way but to them it's, why would I need all of that other information? And you might hear a rectangle person say, well, I said I loved you last year. If anything changes, I'll let you know. <laughs> that might be an extreme to their personality. But that is how rectangle people seem to display their personalities. They make wonderful accountants, wonderful scientists, wonderful... Um, they can make excellent attorneys, too. These are people who make decisions based strictly on information, logic, and they are more concerned about the process equaling something. One plus one equals two. 
So we've talked a little bit about that. In the next video that we do on shapes, we're going to talk about the triangle personality. And then we're going to do um, a video where we put all four, four personalities together and show you how they work. Remember, I go into businesses and I actually do workshops and teach people how to better communicate and get along with their coworkers based on different personality types. And we're going to do that in that last video. But today, all we did was talk about the rectangle. If you would like to learn more, if there are some things in your life that you think you need some coaching on, feel free to get a hold of me. You can always find me at www.followlaura.com. Make sure you sign up for the mailing list. You'll get all kinds of information from time to time. And uh, yeah, that, that's it for today. So thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.